Reliance Foundation Scholarships, my experience and helpful tips for applicants. Here's a small disclaimer. Hi, I'm Prashant Vaidya, currently a master's student in the Department of Computer Science at IIT Hyderabad. Last year, I was one of the 38 PG students to be awarded the Reliance Foundation Scholarship. And in this video, I'll be sharing about my Reliance Foundation Scholarship experience and things that were helpful for me in the process. This will not cover details like eligibility criteria, deadlines, documents that need to be submitted, etc. Please visit the official scholarships.reliancefoundation.org and you'll find a lot of helpful resources organized wonderfully in the form of brochures and videos there. So why should you apply? My experience with Reliance Foundation scholarships has been immensely positive and can vouch that they are very committed to their mission and care deeply for India's youth. Personally, I found the entire process that is essays and interview to be very enjoyable and I'd like to express my immense gratitude to Reliance Foundation team who apart from having provided us great financial assistance have also provided us with a network of highly driven peers, have sent us really cool goodies, have kept our students motivated by organizing guest lectures and expert interactions, a gesture that is highly appreciated in the times of a pandemic. So here's what the process looks like. Firstly, you'll be asked to fill an eligibility questionnaire and then you'll receive access to the online application portal. The process from here on can be long and arduous. Breaking down the process into chunks can help you feel less overwhelmed. So here are the chunks involved. You need to fill in details and submit necessary documents on the portal related to personal, academic and extracurriculars. And then you'll need to write two essays. One will be a personal statement and the other one is statement of purpose. After that, you'll have to nominate people and uh, they'll have to provide two letters of reference. One to watch your academic capabilities and second that watches for your character. And finally, once you're done with all these steps, if you're shortlisted, you'll be invited to an interview. Here are some tips that can help you. Gamify the process. The process is similar to a typical US university's application process. The process being long has its advantages. Understand that once you meet the basic eligibility, it's a level playing field. The ball really is in your court and you're being evaluated in a holistic manner. So you can use time to your advantage to craft your essays well. Treat it as a game rather than a chore you need to get done. You can treat the process of writing essays as a way to introspect your career and your personal journey. You can treat the process of asking for letters of reference as an opportunity to reconnect with teachers or professors who you may not be in touch with at the moment. Just make it enjoyable. The next one is do not be lazy. The application process can easily take several days don't start the application one day before the deadline. Understand that you also need letters of reference from people who can vouch for you and you have to respect their schedule as well. Prepare a checklist of every document you need to submit. Have enough buffer time to proofread your essays and iterate over them a few times before you submit. It's about you. Of course, it will be competitive like most things in India. But forget about the competition and reflect inwards. Someone out there will always be studying at a better college, have a better CGPA, have done better internships, have done better projects, etc. But they are interested in hearing your personal statement and your statement of purpose. You should describe your personal journey, your passion, your struggles and your long-term career goals. Do not blindly copy any templates available online. Do not ask someone else to write their essays for you. This is a brilliant opportunity for you to introspect and tell the world a story that's all about you. Use it well. Do not self-reject. Having self-confidence is key. A lot of folks will not apply because they think they're not good enough yet. Do not be one of them. You may be surprised that a good number of scholars did face some amount of self-doubt but still went ahead and completed the application process to the best of their abilities. 
Understand the scholarship values. Excellence, leadership potential, integrity, community commitment, growth mindset, and courage. Knowing them can help you craft better essays or perform better in the interview. But make sure the stories that reflect these values are genuine. Some more tips about personal statement. In this essay, you can cover your special interests, passion, abilities, life goals, etc. For instance, the focus of my essay was on my passion for building products and teaching. About statement of purpose. In this essay, you can justify the choice of a degree program, what you're planning to specialize in, and how the scholarship will enable you to achieve your goals. It's perfectly all right to not have absolute clarity over everything. You can refer to the brochure to know more on what to write. About letters of reference. Personally, I reached out to professors who knew me well during my time at college rather than relying only on credentials. If you don't know someone well, chances are they may not be able to do a good job in vouching for you. Also, check the brochure to find out who is eligible to be your referee. Tackling the interview. Treat the interview as a conversation to express yourself. The panel was very friendly and highly professional. Know that they are trying to select rather than reject you. This mindset shift can be useful to make yourself feel calmer during the process. My interview mostly revolved around my essays and my projects, technical details and how I was planning to take them to the next level. It also involved hypothetical questions like how can AI be used to tackle educational challenges? How can AI be used to tackle mental health problems, etc. I do not recollect the exact questions, but they had an emphasis on growth mindset and community commitment. To sum it up, be genuine, have the right mindset, and half the battle is won. Wish you the best of luck.